Hi, and welcome to this new series from Groove 3. We're looking at the plugin called Movement. And this video is just going to be a general overview of the GUI just to get us introduced to the plugin. So to start off with, I just want to show you up here, you can click on this and bring up your presets. You browse through your presets here. And this is an audio processing plugin, so you want to put some audio on your channel here and run it through the plugin. And we can just flip through these presets here and check them out. If you're looking for something specific, like Flux or Evolving, you can click on these tags here. It'll bring up presets that are tagged with those characteristics, and you can just clear that when you're done. Now, if you want to favorite a preset, just hit the star button right here. Now, the other thing you could do is go from dry, so here's our input. And this is our output. So I'm just going to use the scroll wheel now on the mouse just to find a nice sweet spot. You can also boost the input or drop it down. Okay, and you've got the same thing down here with the output. Just drop that down or increase it. Now notice these animations happening on the plugin. Here and here and here. If you click on this button here, it'll disable those and that will save you some CPU. It doesn't change the sound processing whatsoever. It's just simply uh, reducing the load on the computer, drawing these animations. So output splits the signal into two engines. It's up to you how much of engine A and how much of engine B you hear. That's controlled with the volume control. But here's engine A, has two rhythm elements and four effect slots. If you click on the plus button, you can see the effects available. These are grayed out because they're already loaded in. But when you click on an effect slot, you'll see the extra controls that are available for that effects. And so I'll do the same thing over here, load up compressor. And these are the parameters of the compressor. Now, if you want to just get rid of them, you just click on these X buttons here. Or you can just disable them by bypassing them like this. So it's more of a temporary thing. You can come back to it if you want. And you can actually just mute a whole channel just by turning it off or on like that. Up here is the XY controller. I'll be showing you how to assign this to various parameters. And uh, you can actually just move it this way or you could just drag the XY control like this. And we'll come to look at that in a later video. And though we won't be covering it for a few videos yet, I will just show you that if you click on this rhythm section, you will bring up a new section of the GUI which will show you the shapes available for the LFOs, for example. It'll show you the step sequencer or the sidechain input. But don't worry too much about that for now, we're gonna cover that in a later video. Now the last thing I want to show you is this question mark. This will bring up a nice help overlay, which will be useful if you forget what some of these things do. If you click on this title right up here for movement, it'll bring up your serial number, the credits, and your version number. So that's it for the plugins GUI. It's nicely laid out, easy to remember. Join me in the next video though, where we'll dive in a little further into the plugin. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.